About six months ago, we decided to make the M3D Pro based on getting feedback from our existing users. So we've already gone through three iterations of design prototypes and we're almost completely done the engineering. Three months ago, we proved a lot of the important concepts like making a heated bed that uses less power, proving that it can move a lot faster, proving the benefits of higher quality and, and higher precision metal parts. And right now we're going through the final phases of proving the feedback system and finishing the next steps in programming. Our goal with the M3D Pro is to make the most reliable 3D printer in history. And the way we're going to do it is by combining a full suite of sensors, what we call a sensor network, with precision metal parts. The combination allows the printer to become more self-aware and it can correct for errors that are common in all 3D printers, uh, cheap ones and expensive ones, things such as filament snags, print head crashes, uh, even power outages. First time I ever heard about 3D printing was one of my friends printed a Ninja Warrior training hold and I thought it was really cool. The unique thing that you're getting with M3D Pro that we have not yet seen in this industry is that ability for the printer to sense many different things within itself. It has the ability to sense position, it has the ability to sense speed, it has the ability to sense temperature in five different places. And if there's a problem, it can be self-diagnosed and in almost all cases can be self-corrected. Ultimately, that gives you more time in the creative process. With 3D printing, I have right on my desk, or my granddaughters have right on their desk, if they get an idea, they can try to make that idea on a 3D printer right there. They can turn their ideas into reality. This I didn't have when I was a kid. Really, the, the greatest advancement that 3D printing could accomplish at any point in the future is ease of use, making it so that anybody can just go from an idea to creating that idea uh, within an afternoon. We've introduced this new thing that we call tutorial mode. Um, so what we got from our feedback from original backers was that they wanted more detailed guides so they can grow into becoming an expert user rather than having to start as an expert user. The thing I think that needs to happen for educators is speed is an issue, how fast we can turn around. So with M3D Pro, you have the ability to print a single prototype with extreme accuracy and high quality, but you also have the ability to take that prototype and print it in quantity, cover the entire print bed with uh, multiples of your model and, and produce it at volume. I am so excited for the future, not only for me, but for my daughter, to grow up being able to use her mind to create anything she wants to, thanks to a 3D printer. I've been fascinated with just the whole idea of 3D printing for quite a while now, focusing on uh, just simple things that I could print for around the house or uh, you know, toys that I could print to, to play with my kids, really just the idea uh, that I could create something myself. So the M3D Pro is already successfully funded and is the largest crowdfunded 3D printer this year. Due to popular demand, we're opening up pre-orders using the Indiegogo in-demand platform. And what M3D is doing, um, I think many people are going to see as extremely innovative and they're going to want to be first to support it and to help nurture where this technology is going to go. They just also happen to get a printer as one of their rewards very early and at a deep discount.